Here, it's your boy North Bowl. I'm about to tell y'all what the fuck happened to 35. I'm talking about John F. Kennedy. So this is a history lesson for you dickheads that don't know what happened and shit. November 22nd, 1963 and shit. I ain't even gonna hold you. He riding in style. He, he sliding through Dallas, right? This bitch is going crazy. Niggas going crazy. They dicky. And the fucking Lincoln, no broad drop the top, got the titties out. I'm talking, he in a fucking convertible, bro. Come on now. Who you know what what press no you no do that? Never again. <laughs> Never again. Cause 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 boom, a shot go off whole time. The shot missed. It was three Jones. That shit was wham. <laughs> it hit a bystander and shit. My leg. And the cheek on some 50 cent shit. J -j 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 right? I don't know if it was the same boy or not, because it's a lot of, you know. The streets be talking, and they be saying it be two niggas and magic bullets. When Guardian Lemon Soda, nigga. Shit, but, you know, he guess, I guess he locked and loaded again. Kadooey! Right through the upper shoulder and shit. And then it went through his man, too, and his man wrist. The boy in front of him and shit type shit, right? He had to be quick with the reload, because yeah, I, I can't get two shots off on the fucking duty that quick. That shit crazy, right? Then next thing you know, Wigan Thalia. Head joint, like Figaro, Figaro. That shit just like bam, right through the dome piece. Right, we talking skull, brain fragments everywhere. He slumped over and shit type shit. Right, it's going crazy. Right, they sliding to the hospital. You know, his shorty got rights to like try to you know help him survive and shit. But when they got him to the doctor's office and shit, it's a you know, hospital they put the dickhead. All in his mouth. That's like first protocol type type shit. I'm saying dickhead. And the other doctor was looking like he he missing this whole part though. Like I understand he gasping, for, but you can't live without like most of your fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Like if he if he was like on some presidential shit, like damn this shit is stressful. I got some shit on his mind. That shit, everything on his mind was everywhere else. Damn three five. Them niggas ain't spin for you, dog. I don't, I don't feel like they caught the nigga, bro. They ain't spin for him, bro. Yeah, that's a bad joint. I ain't even gonna hold you. The crazy part is, like, he probably got backdoor. Who I did was it to get convertibles for the fucking press. That's 35 we talking about. I know he probably would have made a crazy drill song. Caught 3-5 outside, put his brains in a lap. Caught 3-5 on the drive, then I had to clear his mind. I know he probably was going crazy in the booth. Man, this has been a history lesson with your boy, North Ball. If you need any fucking more lessons, dickhead, you fucking follow me and shit. Buddy was born in 1917, so he probably was a little bit racist. And not because, you know, you can't say everybody be racist, but if you was born in 1917 and you was probably into politics and shit at that time, you, you definitely was like a little bit racist and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody around you was definitely, definitely a little bit racist. So, yeah.